Did you know there's one shot that's killing your chance of getting to the next level? And it's not your serve, it's not your return, it's not your forehand. It's actually a specific backhand that you're not practicing. And I'm gonna reveal what it is today and show you exactly how to hit it. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution eager and excited to show you how you can improve your low backhand. Yes, the low backhand, when the ball's in the transition part of the court, you get that short ball. Maybe you're playing a consistent player who likes to slice. Maybe they hit short. The ball's dropping low in singles or doubles. And you're just not practicing this shot and you don't have an understanding of how to practice it and what to work on. I'm gonna show you what to do today because it's this shot that you're getting three, four, five times a set. Over the course of an entire match, you might get seven to 10 balls that are low on your backhand side and you're, you're flubbing it, you're messing up, you're missing it, you're struggling, you don't know what to do. And here's the common problem that I see. It doesn't matter if you have a one-handed backhand or a two-handed backhand. For one, you're stepping with your front foot. Now you can step with your front foot if the ball is at you and you're gonna step in, you might even use a karaoke. You can even slice it with a karaoke. You can come over it, one hand or two hand. But I'm talking about the ball that's moving you off the court towards the single sideline. And that's the ball that you're struggling with because you're running off the court and you're getting on your front foot like this right here. And that's causing you to lose your balance and to tip your upper body over your lower body. It's causing your momentum to continue off the court, off towards the alley. So when I review match play of players and they get this ball, again, I'm seeing them on their front foot and I'm seeing them maybe even go to the slice and there's nothing on the ball. They get passed and they wonder why. I see them try to hit it and it goes through the middle of the court. They get lobbed or they get passed. What you have to do, number one, is work on your footwork here. So the first thing I want you to practice when you see this ball, and this is one of the hardest things to do, because even when I tell players to do it, they still struggle with it. You have to work on getting your outside leg in front of your body like this, so that when you swing, your front foot or your inside leg comes through. Too often, players, they think they're doing this, but by the time they swing, they're actually on their front foot again. It's because you've trained your whole life stepping into your backhand. And there's nothing wrong with stepping in. I love stepping in at the baseline. It's the best, it's, it's amazing. It's the best way to do it. You get plenty of power back there. But when you're moving forward, you have to switch it up. You have to train your body to go off this leg. Most players have an easier time doing this off the forehand side. Very challenging for them to get the coordination to do it off the right side. Now, do you think you're gonna go out tomorrow and play a match and get this right away? Most players won't. So I advise you to get out a bucket of balls, a bag of balls, and you can practice just dropping the ball in front of you and seeing if you can just jog through the ball on your outside leg, outside, inside, okay? If I have two hands, I can do the same thing. Outside, inside. And you'll see how smooth that looks because I've trained my body to get this leg in front to swing and then step through. If you're enjoying this footwork lesson, you're going to love the transition footwork secrets. This course is my flagship program to help you transition from the baseline to the net and learn how to attack your opponent so you can win more matches. And all you have to do is click the link below this video to get started. Most of you are gonna to want to get to this foot as you swing, and that's gonna throw your timing and your rhythm off. This is one reason you're struggling with your transition game and finishing points. You think you're not finishing points at the net, but when I study video, it's not the, the volleys, it's actually the transition shots that's causing you to lose points, point after point after point. So you get out on the court and you just work on, even if it's near the middle of the court, as long as you're moving off to the side a little bit, you can open up your stance and get your hips facing. Another problem with stepping in is when you step in, you're gonna block your hips. 
even if you step in and you come through like this, you're gonna run into the ball. You'll get too close to the ball when you do this. You'll get too uh, close to the ball with your hips blocked swinging, and then you won't be able to hit great angles or, or disguise the ball down the line or with angle. You're just gonna plop it through the middle of the court. So practice, practice coming up on the outside leg and jogging through like I just did. And you just jog through, just practice, drop it. You can even drop it, take one step with this foot, not this foot. One step, swing, then step through and then start jogging. A lot of players, they'll step in and then they just stop their momentum and then they try to run forward. That's not the way to do it. If you are able to get to here and then you step to here, guess what? Afterwards, you have to keep jogging. You can't just, you can't just step here and stop and look at where your ball went. You have to keep moving. It's dynamic movement and balance like that. When I was down in Saddlebrook 20 years ago, training on the Pro Tour, Martina Hingis was down there. She was, what, 16 years old, already number one in the world. She was doing these drills every day where she was practicing moving through her shots like this. See, we're taught to get set, okay? This culture tells us get set on every shot. That's great if you want to improve that aspect of your game and you want to feel solid with your, with your getting set. But so many shots in tennis require movement and moving through the shot, and you have to learn how to dance through the shot. You have to learn how to have the balance and the coordination to do it. Now, you've improved getting, outside the, getting that outside leg in front of your body and running through or moving through the shot. Now let me show you what to do with your hands. If you have a two-hander, okay, one, you don't always want to come in and just go to the slice. You can. You can come in and you can hit a nice slice with an open stance. It's great. Again, the whole idea is to keep the hips facing the net more instead of getting sideways when you're moving this direction. Like I said earlier in this video, if the ball comes into you in the middle of the court, then you can turn sideways and step on your front foot. But you can work on your slice off of your outside leg. But I want to help you with your two-hander. Okay, when you come in with a two-hander, when you're done with the swing, look at what I did. I basically used my opposite hand and I turned the racket over like this. So I finished with my opposite hand on the racket and I took this hand off of the racket. So it looks like this. It's just like coming in and hitting a forehand where I turn the hand like this. It's the same thing. So you come in and you use your left hand like this. And you'll notice where I finish, I just tap my shoulder here. Okay, so I hit this ball and I tap. That's how you learn how to use your opposite hand on your backhand side. On your one-handed backhand, if you run in, look at, where, look at where my racket finishes. I have my strings facing where I want the ball to go. Yes, I can slice that ball, but what if you want to come over it? So notice how I swing and I bring the racket back a little bit to me, and I have the strings facing. Okay, so I'm not going to swing and go up like this. I'm not going to have a long swing. I'm going to try to turn it over just a little bit like this. Not as much as the, uh, the two-handed backhand, but I'm still going to swing and try to use my wrist and get the strings, get the strings to face the target and the tip of the racket to go up more instead of to go up like this. Okay, so these are the little nuances in this part of the court that you should be practicing. And all you need is a bucket of balls, maybe a video camera to see if you're doing it right, study the videos, and get this footwork down. That's the most important thing. Then once you get the footwork down, get the hands down. Get the follow through down, where the follow through is a little bit shorter than you would on a normal swing. With these low balls, you don't want to swing full. You don't want to swing full. You want to make it a little bit shorter and keep the hands in front so that you make sure you extend. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is all about your transition footwork, getting your backhand to be better, being more comfortable in singles and doubles with your footwork and with your swings. I see this shot over and over again when I study the players that send me videos.
okay? So practice this. And if you want a free gift, click the link below or somewhere in this video. I'll give you a free membership inside our Tennis Evolution online portal and also inside the Tennis Evolution app. You're gonna absolutely love what we have to offer. Absolutely free. We're gonna help you with your serve, your forehand, your return, your backhand, your strategy, injury prevention, your mindset, you name it, we're gonna help you. Click the link below or somewhere in this video and make sure you like the video and leave a comment below or a question if you need help at all with your game. Talk to you soon, thanks.